Lori Cohen and Michelle Willis. In the summer of 81, my parents bought a Chevy van that got about eight miles to the gallon and we drove across the country, stayed in provincial parks and my sister and I slept in the tent and visited with the bears and the raccoons and all manner of Canadian wildlife. It was, it was like living in a Gordon Lightfoot song. And among the experiences, we, my dad and my sister and I played at a, an open stage at the Winnipeg Folk Festival which was probably one of the first times I ever played in front of people. And it was interesting doing it on that kind of a weekend when I was seeing a lot of my heroes. I somehow felt like I was part of this continuum of music and it sort of, I don't know, I was 10 or 11 at the time and I think I thought that weekend, yeah, I think this is what I want to do. This is it. And this next song comes from a record that was literally the soundtrack to that summer and to my life in the summer of 1981. It's often said, of course, that music is the soundtrack to a life. And I remember every song on this record, every every note, because we only had about eight cassettes in the car, and this is one of them. <laughs> and there was a lot of really great picking by the late great Terry Clements, who was scores right hand man for about 30 years, and one of the people that I learned to play the guitar from. By night four, the lyrics are all just uh, chaos up here. And how's your eyesight? I should say though, you know, not only was Terry Clements a great influence on me, but it, it really needs to be said that, uh, you know, Gordon Lightfoot is and was a phenomenal musician. And uh, I mean, you, you just hear these songs, you hear the harmonies and so on, but as a guitar player, as a young kid trying to learn how to play, there were certain elements of his playing which, which uh, I hope to and always aspire to, to have in my own playing, which was a, an incredible uh, precision uh, of touch and tuning. You know, he's famous for, for tuning his guitars, and uh, I, I love that about him. You know, his records are so perfectly in tune all the time, and his shows were always impeccable. And uh, those are the things that I got from Gordon Life. But he was sort of one of those people I would say he's one of the greatest guitar teachers I never had. You know, his records were my, my teachers. Yeah. 